breathing a sigh of relief. We thought it was going to get to 60 foot, so we thought Hab was scared that it was going to get in our fertilizer house. If that were to happen, CHS crop nutrients could have big losses. Within a few days or a week, it would drop down a little bit, so we were relieved that we didn't have to ship all of our products out of here. But Jenkins and his team prepared for the worst. We disconnected some pumps from our tanks and had some electrical work uh, unplugged and had our work bars uh, disconnected and put into the fleet to protect our conveyor belts and then we sandbagged our office to protect it. Inside of this one bulk bag is about 4,000 pounds of sand, which is about 80 of these little ones. Yes, we're all excited about the water not getting up to 60 feet like previously said. Uh, uh, we don't have to do as much precautionary stuff like moving the product out and uh, dismantling some things. Now CHS will go back to business as usual. I do feel relieved with the water uh, peaking now. Uh, not as much damage in Greenville, uh, probably uh, not as much pressure on the levee. Uh, there's always concern about the levee breaking or something, so yeah, everybody feels pretty good about it right now.